So it's the simple things within games like these which really impress me. I love those hidden little touches, those secrets. I mean, they just I just can't get enough of them. Today, guys, I bring you five plus things you probably didn't know or realize about Hogwarts Legacy, which I just think you need to see. So this game is full of secrets. It's full of amazing little touches. And well, today, guys, I bring you five plus things I feel you need to know about. Now, these ain't game changing in the manner they're going to help you, but they are amazing touches I feel are definitely worth knowing about. But hey, now I have your attention, guys. If you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps me out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Hogwarts, be sure to subscribe. OK, so let's go. OK, so did you know that within the Slytherin common room, that if you stand there for a minute or so shooting uh, one of the three or four windows, that a giant squid will hit that window? Yes, this is right. So if you are part of that slivering gang, if you're a pure blood like me, next time you're in that common room, just stand there shooting at the window with your wand and eventually you'll see that the octopus will slam one of its tentacles against it. Now this can happen with any window so it doesn't really matter, but yes, I think this is an amazing touch. So do you guys want to beat Tom Riddle to find in the Chamber of Secrets? Well guys, I believe you can. Because there is an Easter egg, there's a hint to the Chamber of Secrets within Hogwarts Legacy. Somewhat 40 odd years, 50 years maybe, before Tom Riddle even discovered it. So if you come to this point in the castle, as you can see right here on the map, enter these toilets, use that Revelio, you'll see a fuel guide page pop up giving you the early information before we knew about the Chamber of Secrets. Tom Riddle, step aside. Rebellion. So did you guys know there are certain brooms in this game which have some amazing effects on them? Now, I do you want to say thanks to my pal Quinten for bringing this to my attention? I absolutely had no idea. I mean, somehow I didn't notice this, but they are subtle, they're, they're minute, they're small details, they are easily missed. Now, there are certain brooms, like I said, which give off some great, great effects. As you can see on screen now, here are a few. There's one here that has a basket on it and if you fly at night you can kind of see it a little bit more where it drops apples out of the basket. Another one here, you can see kind of like flaky stars, a bit of snow coming out of the back of it is it? I'm pretty sure it is. We have the U broom which has like golden swirls coming off the back of it, pretty cool. We have this one here with like a lantern on the front of it giving off some great effects. And there are probably many, many more which give off some of these incredible effects too that haven't been found yet. If you guys know of any, be sure to hit me up on my Discord, link down below, because I'd love to see them. Another amazing addition not many people are aware of are the fact that there are super, super, extremely rare beasts in the game that you can go out and tame. Yes, we know of the Hippogriffs, yes, we know of the Jobbernals, yes, we know of Nizzles, Nifflers, Puffskins, the Festrals, the Unicorns, but did you know there's extremely rare versions of these two? Yes, there are, because there are versions of these known as shiny versions, where they have a special symbol next to their name. Now, I've only caught one of these in my entire time playing this game. And me being an idiot, I didn't even realize at the time what it was, and I sold him. Didn't get no extra money for it. I don't know what their standout features are. I think there could be just a different color variant. I'm not too sure. But I am super inclined to discover what happens if you breed a male and a female, and they both have said special icon they're both shiny variants of said animals that's something for a future video but yes keep an eye out for them because they are extremely rare i know the puff scheme one is said to be like a bright yellow like a pikachu looking yellow so that's real cool to know so keep an eye out guys for these variants of these beasts and if you come across one where it should have like a little star next to its name even before you capture it do not lose it grab that thing knapsack at the ready the amount of these smaller touches really do impress me in this game. I absolutely love them. And if you guys know of any more, please hit me up on my Discord. I'd love to get another video out on these and I'll be giving you guys full credit for them. 
Again, hit me up on my Discord, link down below if you know of any secrets not covered today. Okay, so lastly guys, and this is a great addition too, is the main menu. Now, if you stand at your main menu where you can log into your character, you'll notice smaller things and details happening in the background. But did you guys know that the further you progress in this game actually affects what happens within that main menu background? I only realized this is because when I actually got the I Tame the Phoenix, the Phoenix was added to my main menu, which was pretty cool and an amazing addition. So yes, guys, as you progress further on into this game, it will add new additions to your main menu. Pretty cool. And there we have it, guys. Five plus secrets and amazing little touches I feel you need to know about within Hogwarts Legacy. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more Hogwarts, be sure to subscribe. If you have any other amazing details about this game you feel I and the world should know about, please hit me up on my Discord link down below. I'll be sure to get another video out and I'll give you guys full credit for them. Also, while you're here, you may as well subscribe because I am posting those daily Hogwarts guides. And I don't feel you want to miss out on any of them. But guys, again, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.